into an installation overview of the Compact Chief Hydraulic Automatic Lubrication Pump from LubeCore. Today we'll be looking at a couple installations that were done on Takayuchi Series Mini Excavators, particularly the 225 and 230 models. Here's a brief schematic of the system that's being installed. On the machine itself, there's a hydraulic pump that pushes fluid through typical actuator control valves. Hydraulic fluid flows to the machine actuators, and this is where the system tees into the hydraulic system on the lift side of the cylinder. As pressure is cycled on and off, as arms are raised or lowered, the machine is digging in the earth, grease is delivered out of the grease delivery elements to the divider valves and on to the grease points on the machine. Here are two installations of the pump. Notice this first installation. It's installed on the boom of the machine. The mounting bracket is using an existing hard mount point for the hydraulic system on the machine, taking away any need to do any additional drilling or welding on this machine. Also notice that in both these pictures, the orientation of the pump seems to be upside down. However, the grease in the pump is pressurized with a spring, giving positive inlet pressure for the pumping element. And so the orientation of the pump doesn't matter it will operate and can be installed in any orientation. Here we see the second installation on another machine. In this machine, the hydraulic pressure is being taken from the lift side of the cylinder where we tie into the hydraulic line with a gauge port adapter. And then the hydraulic pressure is routed to the inlet of the pump. You notice the viewports on the grease chamber are facing the left side of the machine for easy viewing for the operator. The adapter shown here can be oriented in 90 degree increments to allow the installer to orient these viewports in any orientation the customer would like to see them in. Next, we'll take a look at the relation between the pump and the distribution blocks shown in these two pictures. Next on the left, you see the grease line coming out of the pump. That flows into the main divider valve for the system. The main divider takes that flow of grease and divides it 50-50 to the two secondary blocks used in this installation. Once the grease has flowed through a short line to the first secondary distribution block, the grease is then distributed to the block shown here to grease the boom and lower end of this machine. Notice again how just like the pump, a very simple bracket is used to mount two distribution blocks very close together using existing mounting locations already found on the machine. The second line coming out of the main distribution block is routed upward along the boom towards the stick. We can see the second secondary distribution block here. The grease inlet line was routed neatly along the hydraulic hose routings on the machine and interfaces now with this distribution block and flows from there to each side of the distribution block in different grease ratios to grease primarily the bucket end of the stick. Some really nice features in this installation. We've got brackets and we've got heavy duty banjo fittings to show here. First of all, you see a bracket sandwiched between the banjo fitting and the parallel link. This bracket allows the secondary lines to be routed in and around the parallel link without doing any modification to the machine whatsoever and keeps the installation looking very neat and tidy. The heavy duty banjo fitting, which sandwiches that bracket to the parallel link, features a shear boss that fits into a pilot hole in the parallel link. The pilot hole is the hole which you access the grease point through and it creates a very strong shear connection between that heavy duty banjo and the parallel link and removes the need for additional protection of that grease point, whether that be a protection ring or some other means of protecting the grease lines on the working end of this machine. If we take a look at this HP 400 Compact Chief hydraulically operated pump, we see that it is great for small excavation equipment. Its compact design allows it to fit on any machine. It's simple to install. It's cost effective. It can use EP0 through EP2 type greases. It uses the standard 400 gram grease tubes that are available worldwide. It's always greasing when the machine is working. There's so many other features. Easy to see the level. You can add optional monitoring equipment and always comes with heavy duty mounting system hardware.